Hi, this is Philip from Easy Tutorials. Let me show you the easiest way to start your YouTube video streaming journey. If you are using OBS player and VLC media player for streaming, you are probably familiar with the need to keep them running and your PC constantly powered on. It can be a quite inconvenient and energy consuming, right? Well, that's where streaming bots comes in. Simply start your live stream, close the browser and relax. Your stream is securely hosted on streaming bot servers, so there is no need to keep your PC running all the time. It's a convenient and stress-free solution. What sets streaming bots apart is it its unique ability to automatically monitor your live stream and fix any issues that may occur. You can trust that your stream will keep going uninterrupted even if you are away for weeks. So let's dive into the world of streaming bots together. I'll show you how to set up your live stream without any technical headaches. To start, go to streamingbots.com and hit start free trial. Over here create account as usual. We are now in the dashboard. And you can see over here how to get started. I'll guide you step by step through the process, it's really easy and intuitive, let me show you how. You can choose if you want to stream radio or video loop. Let's check out radio first. Go to stream radio tab, over here click create stream radio. For our stream we need background image, some text and music. To add background click here upload image, video or gif. Select image for your stream and your image will be uploaded. You can upload different images if you want, just click upload another. and your backgrounds will be shown on the right side. Let's now add our songs. You can add single song that will loop or create a playlist. To add audio files click on audio tab, to upload music click upload file and select single or multiple songs you want to upload. You can name your stream up here while songs are uploading. After upload is done you can see your songs on the right side. Now just select the songs and drag and drop them to the left side or click here add to selected. You can also organize your songs into folders for better organization. This left panel contains songs that will be played in the stream. You can see the duration of the stream up here. To remove them from the stream click X button and to remove uploaded songs click three little dots and hit delete. You can also click edit song but this will be important to show you later in the video. Let's now add overlay text and image to our stream. To do that go to overlays tab, over here click add overlay button and choose the overlay type. Let's first go with simple text. Just type in text and you will see text in the upper left corner. Choose the font size and over here you can edit text and change color for example. You can just select and move it around as you want. Just one tip, if you choose song title you can see that text is grayed out. This is because it will use the song title from the audio tab. If you go audio tab and click edit you can see the song name and author. So this song title or song author will display the text of the audio file. So make sure to name your files right. This is nice feature that allows to dynamically change text depending which song is currently playing which means that you don't need to manually write song names as they will show on screen as they change. To delete elements just hit the delete button. When you are done make sure to hit save button to save your stream. As you can see we created radio stream. You can create with the same process multiple radio or video streams so you can choose which content to stream. Just to mention that in the individual live stream you can add up to 10 playlists to be played in the live stream one after the other. Also limit is increased from 3 to 4 hours so you can have the ability to, to stream up to 40 hours of content. And in the future the total number of possible playlists to be included in the live stream will increase to 20. So that will be 80 hours of content. Great right? As you can see it's very easy to set up your stream this way. To create video loop we follow the similar procedure. Go video loop tab, hit create video loop, now hit upload file. While it uploads you can enter video loop title, after it's done add it to the stream. In the overlay tab you can add your text, title, author. To add logo of your stream or channel click image, click upload and now use handles to position your logo on the canvas. Click save on the right. Ok, we are now finished with editing. Let's connect stream to our YouTube channel. First go to YouTube channel dashboard, click create and select go live. Click start from the first option and select streaming software and hit go. Over here under stream key click copy. Now go back to streaming bots website, go to stream keys, click add stream key, select platform you want, add name and over here paste your copied stream key. 
and add a channel name so you can see analytics. Make sure to check out a quick guide how to disable auto stop feature to avoid interruptions. Hit save. Ok, we are done with the basic setup. Now click go live tab, activate your free trial and you are ready to go live. After successful activation you will see the option to go live. Make sure that your stream keys are correct and click go live button. In the menu on the right select to choose your stream. You can choose all your created radio streams here or video loops here. I'll go with radio stream. Click select or here choose your subscription and YouTube stream key that we added earlier in the stream tab. Just to mention a nice feature which allows you to stream up to three destinations. This means that you can stream YouTube, Twitch or other platforms at the same time. Accept conditions and hit start streaming. You need to wait a few moments for the server to create dedicated resources for your live stream. And when process is over click the play button. And your stream will start. If you go to YouTube you can check out your live stream playing live. To stop streaming just click end stream button. And if you want to add monitoring to your stream just click this add health monitoring button and add your stream URL. And this is it, a very easy and simple solution for YouTube streams using streaming bots service. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to visit streaming bots website or connect on social media. Happy streaming, bye bye.